Hi guys, salut tout le monde. So first I want to start by saying thank you. I made a video a year or two ago, I don't even remember, where I was pronouncing French pastries and a lot of you really enjoyed it and loved it. So I thought I would make a second part. We really enjoy reading all of your comments. That's what this part two is about, is about all the words and all the pastries I didn't talk about in the first video. Guys, we have some ebooks and e-courses you can learn French with, but first... Make sure you try our free e-course at streetfrench.org. So first of all, I want to acknowledge the big debate around chocolatine versus pain au chocolat. I can't believe I didn't even talk about it. So <laughs> in the southwest of France and maybe in other regions too, they say chocolatine instead of pain au chocolat. So yeah, it's really funny. And the second thing I want to acknowledge is like I saw a lot of comments about uh, what I said in the first video. Um, I said again that un sound. Un is the same sound as un, deux, trois, un. Pain au raisin, pain au chocolat. So I said pain and un are the same pronunciation. To me, that's true. Like, I'm from Paris, I was born and raised and lived here all my life, and I should have just said that, that in Paris we say it like that. What we like to do on Sweet French and on this channel is teach you how we speak naturally. I know that in phonetics, and if you go deep in the science of phonetics, there are different sounds. We just want to make things easier. And pain and un is perfect if you say it the same way. And another one was fraisier. I know that we say une fraise, une fraise, and I think the cake maybe should be pronounced un fraisier, but sometimes it's just easier to say fraisier. I know there are some like strict rules in French, but sometimes when we speak, we just like let go of some of them because as long as it's easy to say kind of fast, it's fine. And if it doesn't change the meaning of the word or it doesn't confuse the person in front of you or like who you're speaking with, it's fine. So yeah, now I'll go into the list of 20 other French pastries. I will teach you how I pronounce it in Paris and how I hear people around me pronounce it. And yeah, again, a lot of these words are cool to practice the pronunciation of the French R, the R, uh, all the nasal sounds, the E, E, etc. All those very French sounds that can be really tricky. Okay, let's start. First of all, you have Baba au rhum. Baba au rhum. Baba au rhum. This one's kind of an old school cake. Like my dad adores this one. I can't. Like it's. <laughs> I'm. I'm not a big fan of like really intense rum like that. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of a lot for me. But some people really like it. Then you have un bavarois. Un bavarois. Bavarois. Un bavarois. Then you have chocolatine, the one we talked about earlier. Chocolatine. Chocolatine. Then you have une charlotte. Une charlotte aux fraises. Une charlotte aux poires. Charlotte. Charlotte is also a name. Charlotte. It's a cute name. I have a friend called Charlotte. I really like it. I think there was a cartoon character called Charlotte aux fraises too. Anyway, Charlotte. Charlotte aux fraises, Charlotte aux poires. Then another specific one someone asked in the comments was chou au craquelin, chou au craquelin. So a lot of French words, there's a E that is not really pronounced. It's called la chute du E, you just drop the E. And instead of saying craquelin, we say craquelin, craquelin. So chou au craquelin. And it's not like a slang way of speaking or kind of an urban way of speaking. It's not, it's just really proper French is like, sometimes like that. So it's chou au craquelin. Then you have le clafouti. 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 Clafouti aux cerises. Again, the chute du E, right? I don't say clafouti aux cerises. Clafouti aux cerises. Another comment uh, was asking about a croquant bouche. Croquant bouche. Croquant bouche. It's a bit tricky, right? Croquant bouche. So you have the nasal en, right? Croquant bouche. If you like le flan, you have le phare breton. Le phare breton. 
So le fard breton is a flan with dried prunes, I think. is really good. So fard breton. Fard breton. Oh, another one that I forgot in the first video, and I love it so much. Charlie and I often buy it. Uh, it's le financier. Un financier. Un financier. Financier. Yeah, it's amazing. You have financier pistache, financier framboise, financier. I like the financier nature. Next, you have fondant au chocolat. Fondant au chocolat. And it also kind of goes with moelleux au chocolat. Moelleux au chocolat. So it's the same kind of cake, but the fondant is really like fondant. <laughs> and the moelleux is more cooked. It's just like very soft in the, less cooked in the, less baked, sorry, in the middle, in the center. But it's not like all runny. So you have fondant au chocolat and moelleux au chocolat. Next, you have forêt noire. Forêt noire. Forêt noire. Forêt noire. In January, we have a special cake called la galette des rois. La galette des rois. Sometimes bakers start making it for in December until February, let's say. La galette des rois. Next, you have a very crazy looking name <laughs> that a lot of you asked in the comments below. It's Queen Amen. Queen Amen. Queen Amen. Even though it's like two different words, you can mash it up into just one. And you don't pronounce the G, so it's just Queen Amen. Queen Amen. Next, you have Pitivier. 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 A lot of E's, right? Pitivier. <laughs> Another funny one, <laughs> someone asked in the comments about Pédonon. Pédonon. I totally <laughs> forgot about this one. It means uh, nun's fart. I don't know, it's, it's silly, <laughs> but it's a funny one. P de nun. P de nun. And you don't pronounce the T. E-T at the end of a word sometimes can sound as a E. So P de nun. Next, if you go to French restaurants, sometimes on the dessert page you have les profiteroles. Les profiteroles. So again, we don't say les profiteroles, les profiteroles. Next, you have un quatre quarts, un quatre quarts. You don't pronounce the R, uh, it's not un quatre quarts. Uh, you can, of course, but usually we say un quatre quarts, un quatre quarts. So where I grew up in Paris and everyone around me, I've always heard it like that. Maybe in south of France or maybe in other regions of France, it's different. But it, in kind of Parisian accent, it is un quatre quarts. Un quatre quarts. Next, you have un saint honoré. Un saint honoré. Un saint honoré. So usually when you see a word that finishes with a T and then a word that starts with a H, usually you don't do the liaison, right? But sometimes we do. <laughs> and in this case, we do. Just like the word rue du Faubourg saint honoré. We do the liaison. Saint honoré. Un saint honoré. And last but not least, you have les truffes au chocolat. Les truffes au chocolat. So here, promise, we pronounce everything how it's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> no tricks. I guess we don't say the T at the end of chocolat, but yeah, that's easy, right? <laughs> les truffes au chocolat. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was, was helpful. Uh, if there's any other pastries you would want me to pronounce, I could keep doing those. I really enjoy it. It's really fun to read your comments. And welcome to everyone who watched the first part and who is now subscribed to our channel. It's really nice to see you again. I've already made other videos in this same style where I pronounce French cities, French um, dishes, French champagnes, French fashion brands actually. So go and watch these videos. I will leave the links down in the description box. If you're learning French, feel free to go on our website, streetfrench.org. We have actually free e-courses for you if you want to kind of see our style and learn some things, <laughs> uh, you can check them out. And if you enjoy it, you can check out our other products we have bunch of e-courses and e-books that are really cool. Okay, thank you so much for watching again and see you next time. Salut, bye bye!